Research suggests mental health and substance abuse can be affected during a crisis. One America's Amanda Brilhanti spoke with an outreach expert on when to seek help. As many Americans under stay-at-home orders face loneliness, more time at home, and job loss, some experts worry the coronavirus pandemic will increase the substance abuse crisis. Research has found the effects of a crisis show people are more likely to drink or relapse. And according to Nielsen, in March, alcohol sales went up 55 percent compared to last year. And as unemployment is expected to hit record highs, outreach expert Kelly Savage encourages those facing substance issues to seek help now. Well, we're particularly concerned about how unemployment rates and how those have skyrocketed in the last few weeks are going to impact those with a substance abuse and addiction issue. Um, not just those that are in recovery, which losing their job can be one of the most traumatic triggers an individual can face, um, but for those that maybe haven't had a problem in the past, and with all these changes and new free time and additional stress from um, you know, the, the unknown of a pandemic, um, we're, we're pretty concerned that this is going to impact millions of Americans According to the Recovery Village, unemployed individuals are 87 percent more likely to drink heavily and 65 percent more likely to use illicit drugs. And another concern is the long-term effects of substance abuse on employers. We know that um, annually 500 million workdays are lost due to employees that struggle with a substance use disorder. So it further reiterates the importance of getting help now. You know, this is a cost to employers when they have employees that struggle with this issue, much like any other medical condition. Um, and we want to make sure that employers are being supportive of individuals seeking help, um, but that, you know, employees know that this is the best time to seek help. Um, you shouldn't wait. For those facing substance abuse, resources are being provided to allow treatment while maintaining social distancing. and. New technology allows for online therapy and support groups. In-person treatment is available to them now, um, and we're one of those options. But additionally, we have teletherapy services, which is a new service line that we're thrilled about um, because this is allowing people to get help right now in the comfort and safety of their own homes. We also have online recovery meeting rooms um, that are free of charge and confidential. And if you or anyone you know may need help with substance abuse, you can visit the Recovery Village website for more information. And, you know, knowledge is power. Education gets people so far and really also breaks down the stigma about this issue that for a long time um, people have felt uncomfortable talking about. But the more we know about it, um, the, the more productive our conversations can be and the more easily we can allow people to get help that they need. And studies from Johns Hopkins and Harvard found in a time when we can't have face-to-face -face meetings, online interventions are providing a successful alternative. This will likely play a role as Americans move past the public health concerns and begin addressing the economic recovery. For One America News, I'm Amanda Perlhanty. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.